one thing you need to be really careful of if you're making a modular layout is that the tracks are aligned between the modules. As you can see there, those tracks are nicely aligned. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to do that, how to make the tracks nicely aligned so that your trains will run well. The first thing we need to do is put some screws into the board where the track is going to be aligned with the track on the other module. I normally use fairly small screws for this as it really only is there to hold the track in place and to hold it in the baseboard. I normally drill a couple of small holes just to help to guide the screws in too. It just makes it a little bit easier to do. It's important to align the track on the two different modules vertically as well as horizontally. One of those needs to be adjusted a little just to bring it down. And I normally just put one small track pin in just to hold it while I'm, while I'm soldering. One thing you can do just to test the alignment before you solder it is just to run a piece of rolling stock over it and just see how it sounds and, and how it feels. And if it feels and sounds good, then you've aligned it pretty well. Another thing you can do is look down the layout and across the module like this and you can just see how the track is lined up. As you can see it's lined up pretty well there. When you're putting the solder on, put a quite a bit on, as the more that is there bonding the screw and the rails, the better it's going to hold. But you don't want to have too much even still. That's probably about enough. And then we do on the other track as well. I generally do just the outside rails, although you can do the inside rails as well if you want to, to give it a bit more strength. But try to put a little less on the inside rail, and that way it won't foul any of the wheels. Once ballast and everything is added to that, you'll hardly know it's there. And uh, it's a good strong connection, you're not going to have any problems with um, alignment of track once you've done that. 